Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming. Uh, today we've got another product review from Green Stuff World. Today I'm going to be having a look at the uh, Colour Shift Metallic Colours. Uh, we've got two that was very nicely sent out to us. We've got the Martian Green and Cobalt Blue. Um, these are, it's actually surprised me when I, I got them. I thought this is a, an ideal colour test for uh, an Iron Hands uh, pre-heresy colours and even 40k colours that really nice kind of uh, marked diesel uh, style so what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to be spraying up some spoons uh, in black and I'm going to try first the cobalt blue and then the Martian green so I'll be right back with the first of the samples so I have sprayed the cobalt blue over uh, a standard black um, colour you can't really see I was very gentle with it um, I was hoping to kind of have like a faded um, blue. I think it really needs to be a bit stronger um, than uh, what I put on. So what I did is I, to show you, I mean, that was like a really gentle spray over, um, but show you a fully, a fully painted one. So this one's had a, a really heavy spray. Um, really, let's see if we can try and get a bit of, there we go, a bit of more of a blue shine into it. Um, you'll notice on all my full colors, there's a little dot. That's to make sure that I don't um, show you the wrong one twice. But you see, the stronger blue, you can really see it on that um, really nice colour. Um, so I'm going to disappear again, and I'll, when I come back, I'll be showing you the Martian green over a black undercoat. So this one, a lot easier to see on, uh, on camera than the blue. I'll just cover up again. So you can see this is just a very gentle spray. So this is something I try with, um, if I was doing an Iron Hands Force, um, to give it that um, kind of purple green um, diesel look um, that uh, some of the Iron Hand players really like on their forces. So they say, I quite like that, uh, that colour scheme. I, uh, I think it's uh, definitely one that I would uh, use, maybe on something like Nurgle Carapace, uh, to give it that kind of insect look. I do quite like it, but I'll say this is the subtle gentle spray uh, i shall quickly show you uh, a full spray so this is full again you can see by the little dot i put on to make sure i didn't uh, do the wrong one twice this one is solid um you could go heavier and really kind of go but i really want a bit of that black into it we can really see the strong tone i'd probably do this over the faded um to really kind of show off this this color scheme i think it's really funky um, but then I had an idea, it was a, it was a very, I, I had a very crazy idea, I thought, why not try both? So I've done a blue, I've done a Martian green, so I thought what I'm going to do now is I'm going to gentle fade uh, two of them together. Now, that's a bit better, so I would probably, if I was doing this again, I would probably do like the heavy coat. So. I'd probably stick it to this kind of consistency and then go back over it with uh, with the blue because it's. I was worried that I'd overpower the model. I still want it to be black, so maybe this is the right colour uh, that you're going for. Maybe a little bit heavier so you can still see the uh, the black, but I'm I'm not sure. This is a trial and error, which is why I wanted to try it on a spoon rather than on a, a heresy model, um, but. The product is fantastic. Um, I am I'm incredibly happy with uh, with this. And also, these are with all my reviews. These are not uh, tried and tested. These are literally I will grab a product, um, minimal research, and by minimal research is just make sure that it was definitely usable through an airbrush and it wasn't going to destroy my airbrush. And then I just had a play. Um, there's no point to me trying and testing out a product by showing you how amazing it is after you've been trying it 40, 50 times. So this is the first attempt, which is why, as you can see, not the greatest of finish on this one, um, but I think a bit more of a, a play around, a bit stronger tone maybe with something like this, and maybe even then fade over the top of this with black again um, to kind of soften it a bit, um, would really do really well. Uh, I think it's uh, definitely the color of choice. But I shall come right back with uh, just the bottles again and go through my final thoughts. So there you have it, guys. That was my uh, really quick review on Green Stuff World's Colour Shift Metals. 
Um, I've only tried the two. These are the two they sent out to us. Um, I'm not going to lie. I will be hunting down the full set. I think it's got some great promise. I think it's a great product. Uh, and I just, I love the, the colours that are coming out for it. I think it's got great potential uh, for some various uh, armors and uh, fantasy and uh, kind of sci-fi based. I think it'll be a really funky product. If you guys haven't tried these out, please go and try them. Uh, I think you will absolutely fall in love with them like I have. Um, if you have already tried them and you've got some hints and tips for me, please, please comment uh, it below just so that I can uh, keep an eye and see what I'm doing wrong or if I've done something that's different, just let me know. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed these reviews. I'm loving making them. I am sorry that I've not been able to do one until now, uh, which had a lot of things. I've been uh, getting ready for three different tournaments and uh, it's taken up a lot of my time, but I'm hoping to do some more of the Green Stuff World's uh, product review in the coming weeks. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you soon.